I am getting too many comments and messages saying that deploying Google AI Studio apps or websites on Netlify is not working. Many of you are facing errors and after deployment, the website is showing a blank screen or just white screen. Some people are saying the website is deployed successfully, but when they open the link, nothing loads. So to solve this exact issue, I am creating this video. This is a dedicated video only for Netlify deployment issues while deploying Google AI Studio apps or websites. I will show you the main three to four common errors and that cause this issue and along with their proper solutions. Please try each solution step by step because even fixing one small thing can even solve the entire problem. If you are learning something from my videos, please subscribe to the channel and join my telegram group for all the prompts, tips and updates. Alright, let's start. I have already created one app inside Google AI Studio. This app can generate logo for a given company or brand name. Means, you just add your company name uh, and add some description like what kind of business it is and then choose from art style like minimalistic, modern, vintage, retro, 3D, whatever you want, what, whatever kind of logo you want. Then choose the primary colors in that you want your logo and just click the generate button. Someone in suggested this kind of app to make me. So I take this example. Now I'm going to deploy this app on Netlify using GitHub and I will show you exact where the issue happens and how to fix it. First of all, I will click on the GitHub icon on the top right corner of Google AI Studio. After clicking on it, I will choose the repository name. Okay, so I am naming this repository uh, logo maker. This is the simple logo making. So in description, just write based on your aim. I will keep the visibility as private and then click on create git repository. Now I will click on stake and commit all changes. As you can see, the repository has been created successfully. Next, I will open Netlify. Here I will click on new project, then select import an existing project. After that, I will click on GitHub and choose the repository. Here is the repository I created just before a few seconds ago. Now you can see that Netlify is fetching the data and giving us the option to deploy our app. So I'm sim simply clicking on the deploy option. Now Netlify will start building and deploying the app on their servers. You can see the deployment process is running. All right, the deployment is complete and Netlify has given us a live link. Now I'm clicking on that link. And as you can see, the app is completely blank. It's showing black screen and nothing is loading on the page. This is the exact issue many people are facing. Now let's move to the solution of this issue. So our solution number one is go back to Google AI Studio app. Here give a simple instruction to Google AI Studio like this. I want to deploy this app or website on Netlify. So please make it Netlify environment friendly so that I can deploy it easily. That's it. Now Google AI Studio will start working automatically. It will adjust the code, add the required changes and make the project suitable for Netlify deployment. Once this process is completed, go to GitHub icon again on top right corner. Now click on Stig and commit all changes. After committing the updated code, go back to Netlify. Here we need to redeploy the app. Click on redeploys. Then click on trigger deploy. Then click on deploy project without cache and redeploy the project again. You can see it is running. After redeployment, refresh your site and check it. In many cases, this step alone solve the issue and your app or website become visible. But in our case, it is still not visible. You can see the same black screen is still there. So don't worry. This means solution one didn't work for this project. Now let's move to the solution number two. 
Now we will give a exit instruction to Google AI Studio for Netlify. So I am telling AI Studio that I want to deploy this app on Netlify. So please create a netlify.toml file and add a bubble to index.html and modify the code so that the API key can be used from Netlify environment variables. Okay, I have given this prompt. Now AI Studio will start working on this. It will add some code and make the project proper for Netlify deployment. Here, please note netlify.toml is the configuration file for Netlify site. It is used to define how the site is built and deployed. This file is written in TOML format and it lies in the root of your GitHub repository. And add bubble means enabling proper JavaScript compatibility so the app can run correctly on Netlify servers. Once AI Studio finishes the changes, go to GitHub icon again, click on Stake and Commit All Changes, then again go back to Netlify. In the same way, redeploy the app. Go to Deploy and here trigger deploys and now click on redeploy without cache. Now again check the website link it has given to you. Now I think it is working. Yes, you can see your website is working. Now your app is visible and the website is loading properly. But it is still not working as expected. Buttons are not responding. AI features are not working or nothing happens when you give any input. In many cases, it can be happen. This means the issue is no longer related to deployment. This is an API issue. You can see in my app that everything looks fine and the site is visible. So let's test it. I am adding a business name, what the business is about and type of style. And then I'm clicking on generate logo. Now you can see it. It's showing an API error and saying that the app needs to be connected to the API because without the API, the app cannot work. In my case, this error message is clearly visible. But in many cases, you may not see this message and your app will still not work properly. So if your app is visible but not functioning correctly, you simply need to connect your API keys. This is our solution number three. And now we move to the next solution. <coughs> now I will show you step by step how you can add the API key in Netlify. First go to Netlify and open your deployed project. Once the project is open, click on project configuration. Inside project configuration, click on environment variables. Now click on add a variable and then select add a single variable. Here you will see two fields, key and value. In the key field, you must enter the exit API key name used in your Google AI Studio app. In most cases, the name is API underscore key. So I'm just typing API underscore key here. Now in the value field, paste your actual Gemini API key. You can copy this key from aistudio.google.com. Okay, so first open Google AI Studio. At the top or in the left menu, click on API keys. Now click on create API key. Google will generate a new Gemini API key for you. Copy this API key and keep it safe. Now open Netlify and go to your deployed project. After pasting the key, click on save variable. Now this part is very important. Your app will not update automatically. So go to the deploy section, click on trigger deploy and then again choose deploy without cache. Netlify will now rebuild your app again using the API key you just added. Once deployment is completed, refresh your website. Now your app should be fully working and all AI features should now responding properly. Lastly, here is the pro tip. If your app is still showing an API error or a blank screen, then go to GitHub and open the particular repository of your project. Scroll down and look for a file called vite.config.ts. It will be maybe in last. Click on it and open the file. Inside this file, you will see how the API key name is written. 
समटाइम्स देर इज एन इफ एल्स कंडीशन और अ स्पेसिफिक फॉर्मेट रिटर्न बिटवीन ए पी आई एंड स्कोर की एंड ई एन वी डॉट यू मस्ट कॉपी द एग्जेक्ट ए पी आई की नेम एंड यूज द सेम नेम इन नेटलीफाई एनवायरमेंट वेरिएबल्स वेर यू एड द ए पी आई की If the API key name is in GitHub and Netlify does not match exactly, your app or website may not deploy or may show a blank screen. So always check the API key name directly from GitHub to avoid this mismatch issue. I hope that by following the step, you will able to solve the blank screen issue and make your app or website run properly. Let me know your views in the comments. If this troubleshooting help you, please like this video, share it with someone who need this, and subscribe to the channel. Also, join my Telegram group where I have shared all the prompts, where along with useful tips and updates. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.